Right folks, this is the first point of interest of the day here, this house. This is the old family home of the poet laureate Ted Hughes. His parents lived here and I do know that Ted and his wife Sylvia Plath spent some time here as well. I think they spent a Christmas here once and no doubt other times as well. It's called The Beacon. I don't know if it's still in, in the family, directly or indirectly, I'm not sure. Right, it's half ten. It's a typical February day here in the South Pennines. I'm doing a circular day walk from Hepton Store. Just parked the car on the outskirts of the village and I'm just following the road towards uh, Widdop. I think I've got about a mile and a half of road walking here, maybe a bit less, but I, I don't mind here. There's, there's lots to see along this road, it's a nice little walk. Um, my route is going to take me up this road and I want to visit an old ruin that, that I pass a lot when I'm, when I'm driving up this road and it's, uh, it's on, on, on top of an hill I've always fancied uh, a good loop round it so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to cut over the moor drop down to New Delight and then come back along the edge of the woods back to Epton Stall I'm not sure on the mileage, five, six miles, don't know, maybe more, maybe less It's probably a bit intrusive of me really. I'm like filming and photographing some of the lovely old properties around here. I've just passed one there called Greenwood Lee. And on the OS map it shows uh, the name in that old fashioned archaic writing that so it's quite exciting. You know, I think it's gonna be somewhat old and interesting. And above my finger there is the ruin on the hill that I wanna have a look at. I do like this sunken grassy lane with the hawthorns on the edge. Imagine them in May time full of May blossom. And here it is, Clough Head. Let's go and have a look, see if there's anything of interest. What a shame, I think it's all blocked up, you can't get in. They've even put mesh on the top, I stopped the barn hills and stuff, what a shame. Well, there's a gap there. There's no day stores, that's what I'm looking for really. Found a nice old fireplace. Bit hard to properly appraise, really. You can't get inside, have a proper look. No barn hills or anything like that inside, but there are stock dove flapping about. Seems to be struggling, flapping against mesh. Obviously, couldn't remember which way it had got in. Right, I'm just having a brew and a big lump of tater pie. Not as good as my mum used to make, but not bad. Yeah, this. Uh, this old place would be a good place for Tommy Lee Royce to hide out, wouldn't it? We're in the right neck of the woods. There's supposed to be a public right away across this moor, a footpath, but I'm not finding it, so. I'm just going in the approximate right direction, I think. Me 
Mayor's Farm Shop, famous for Pennine Weyers. I'm just walking through Calden here, and there's a little out skew here. And when I first qualified, I very nearly applied for a job here. And the only thing that put me off, it was just a bit of a bit of a commute for me. I sometimes wonder how things would have panned out if I'd, if I'd have got a job here and just finished my working life here. I can imagine my retirement be a right sad day, all the community be all teary eyed. But like, goodbye, Mr. Chips. As well as being a pub, it's got a little campsite in that sloping field at the back of that sign. Stayed there once, then you can go in the pub and have a few, uh, few pints. Second dinner, bacon and tomato pasta. It's been in the fridge a while, this, you know. Could all end in tears. I consider this an interesting part of the route, just for the path alone. I'm walking on causey stones, which are a, I don't know whether they're a peculiarity to Calderdale, but there's certainly a lot of them. A lot of the upwell. Quite a few of the old paths through the fields and woods hereabouts have these nice, these nice stones. Pre-industrial revolution, I'm guessing. Well, we've arrived in Epton Stall and I've just come to show you a famous grave. This is the grave of Sylvia Plath, the American poet and wife of Ted Hughes. Oops, don't know whether you can see there. Quite often the name Hughes is, is defaced, sometimes the letters are pulled off and stuff. By all accounts, he was a bit of a swine, Ted Hughes, uh, in terms of how, how he was with Sylvia. And uh, subsequently, she committed suicide. When was it? 1963. Very sad. But if you're into poetry, I recommend this book. I think it's, it, it was his first collection. It's called Lupercal. Brilliant, it is. Really, really good. I'll have to watch these gravestones because they're mega flippy when it's damp. Um, but I'm in the churchyard of the old ruined church in Epton Stall of St Thomas of Becket. Now it was built around 1260 but in uh, unfortunately it was badly damaged uh, by a storm in 1847. So they had to build a new church. Now I'm looking for an interesting grave here. And sometimes I find it and sometimes I don't. If I do I'll, I'll tell you about the bloke who's under the stone found it. It's the grave of David Hartley, also known, of, known as King David. Yeah, and this King David was a bit of a, a, bit of a bugger really. He led a band of coiners, counterfeiters, across the valley over at Crag Vale. And what they used to do, they used to clip the edges of coins, file, file the original coin down and re-mill the edge to make it look, look okay. And then with the clippings, they'd melt, melt them down to make fresh coins, the, the counterfeit coins. And a lot, a lot of shady things went on, really. There was um, a public official who was investigating them were murdered in Halifax. And as a result, when, when David Hartley was caught, he was hung at York. What did it say on the gravestone? It says 1770. He was hung at York. York Tyburn, and then he brought back to Epton Stall here where he were, where he were buried. There's, there's some good, good books out there, and I think Shane Meadows did a film about it called The Gallows Pole, or he is doing. Uh, one of the books we're reading is called To Clip a Bright Guinea. 
Well, that is the walk nearly done. I'm just leaving the church now. And I'm just going to see if the pub's open. I think the cross is a check last night. Although I believe it's changed hands, it's more of an eating place now. But if I can get a pint, I'm going to have a quick pint. Uh, and then, then I'm going to wrap things up. I know, not, not a wild camp, but nice local walk. I've enjoyed it. Good to do something a bit different. Mix things up a bit. I hope you liked it as well. Certainly an interesting area to me. Anyway, we're approaching civilization and noisy cars and stuff, so thanks for watching. Look after yourselves and I'll see you next time. And I'll just uh, show you a pub.